Hi, I uh, hope you're all having a nice day. Um, today I'm going to show you um, my Tappington Boathouse build. I've gone for like a sort of Triggerman gangster vibe here, so it's sort of like a, a gang sort of running a purified water business type thing. And yeah, let's get it started. So if we just go to the entrance, sort of coming from down the road and trying to show you here. So I've, I've used um, some of the street lamps for the new DLC. Here's the sort of a uh, marketplace for any traders and wanderers walking by us. We've got a little chem clinic. That's sort of the vibe of going most people wearing suits, bowler hats. Uh, just got a clothing store down here. And I've sort of tried to use lots of the signs to make it look like they're advertising stuff. Obviously, got the drug sign for the chem store. Just walk down to the entrance now. Yeah, so here's the main entrance. Uh, so we've just got like a fire pit going on for like traders and stuff, you know. Um, did they have walking by? Just got them to sit, warm themselves. Started decorating more with mutt fruit as well. It, it just looks nice scattering it around sometimes for decorative purposes. Uh, obviously, got a little turret tower here just for defense. This bit here is so overgrown, but I managed to turn it into a little Brumman, Brumman farm pit, which works well. And this is the uh, purified water business part. So obviously you've got just a little, uh, what would you call it, an electric sort of a generator station, I guess, general generator hut, store the generators. And if we walk out here to the boardwalk, we will be able to see uh, where the purified water is sort of kept, sort of defensively and here I'm pretty sure off with these I've only wanted to have like a hidden sort of turret tower for a while now and I thought this build would work with them so I finally tried it and mucked about a bit and I am yeah I'm pretty sure for these I think they worked out well obviously you can't cover the whole thing because it needs to have a line of fire still but I think I think they've worked out um, I'll probably do a a little build vid on how to make these if anyone's interested Um, this is just a, another defensive tower up here, but also got a defensive post as well as a turret. It's got a nice little view out to the uh, main road there. So just um, carry on here to the farm. Um, got some Mr. Handys that farm it, suitably named uh, Rodsworth, Pod Podsworth and Sodsworth. Which gives you a little clue to who's running the bit house crew. Because you know, we've all got a great little robot friend that likes to wear a bowler hat. And this is a um, general store. And this is pretty fun to build. I made a little chem lab in the side here. And there's a little chemist making cracking away. But yeah, so. Just a little fun thing to have a little chem lab, you know, where they're making the chems. To sell. Water and robotics don't exactly mix. And just got another little dog house there. And this is just this is I just made this the boathouse into a workshop. This is a really difficult area to work with. Um, there's so many obstacles in the way there and it's quite a small space that you just can't really put much in there so it was the easy thing to do because I didn't really want to ruin the little sort of stairs going up to the boathouse as well so ah here's the leader of the Tappan the Boathouse crew Mr Codsworth himself yep he is running the purified water business of the commonwealth 
we had to be doing something for those 200 years that we uh, were in the vault. I've tried to put a few more containers around because obviously it's a purified water business there. Continuously make a purified water, it needs to be stored somewhere. So I've tried to make it seem like they've got loads of stock around. And this is just a little living room, you know. Everyone's got to chill. Yeah, just pop upstairs now to the um, sleeping quarters. It's pretty basic, my sleeping quarters, to be honest. But I tried to uh, try to decorate it a bit more finely than some other builds. You know, not scrappy, a bit more nice furniture, a few paintings. I've used the nicer wall lights because obviously it's a, they're in a nice little mansion house. It's nice. These guys, you know, they're gangsters, but they like the finer things in life as well. Walk up. I'm going to walk up now to the um, actual clubhouse. I have like an obsession with when I get someone like if there's a a house, a tree, a building, I really want to build into it. So this this house is quite a challenge, but I finally managed to get sort of a structure in place and everything, and it worked out really well. Um, this second floor here is just sort of guard tower, so it's just got little points of lookout. Throughout the settlement, looking Everything different ways down the river, etc. Yeah. And just a little, another, another look out just at the front here. It never changes. And now we're going to go up to the actual sort of clubhouse bit. Try to like uh, I don't know if you watch Sons of Anarchy, but try to do sort of that vibe. So it's just like a little clubhouse pub type thing, it's like a little jukebox. The candles are awesome to put on tables, by the way, from the UWC. And obviously, like I said, try to make a little Sons of Anarchy type clubhouse. So they've got the little main table where they sort of have their meetings. Obviously, got using neon signs for TBC, Tuffin' About House crew. A couple of rag stag heads there. I thought it worked out well, you know, my ideas for this. Sort of with the, the idea of the settlement. And obviously, you can't have a clubhouse without a bar, so... There's our little bar. I don't know why that woman was just staring at a wall. Maybe she's contemplating suicide. Anyway, that was the uh, main build. I'm going to have a little rest up and show you it in the night time. We're all lit up. Right, we're back now after sleeping. And uh, time to show you it all blinged up with some lights. I, I lit the house up a lot. It's like a lighthouse, but <laughs> the light, the new lighting they've given us is just... You can't help but play around with it. It's too cool. Obviously these are the street lamps, you can see how well they've worked, sort of um, lighting the road up as you go along. And when we enter you'll sort of see how nice the oil lamps are, they're giving like that different warmer light. I like how we've got varied light now, it's not just that white electric light, we've got like sort of warm amber colours and fire colours. So, obviously, this is the fire pit. But yeah, the new lighting, we've got so much more to play around with the new lighting from the DLC. If you don't get the DLC, get it. I mean, it's like £4 or I don't know what it is in dollars, but definitely worth it. Obviously, we've got the uh, store here. The hanging lights you get in the DLC, I've looked pretty much used in every store. They light them up really well. I've used like the fluorescent tube type things in the chem lab sort of gives it a slightly darker it's like more amber light but yeah, like I said playing around with the lights now is quite a bit of fun yeah just sort of got the um, main inside is just sort of use those fancy lights in it really bright pretty basic Still try to use a few dark spots, you know, just to give it more of a not completed vibe, I guess. I don't know, like you know, it's the wasteland. You can't always have everything perfect. We we'll just head upstairs now. Actually, that's obviously the uh, boardwalk. I didn't need to light that up too much because you know, no one's really there. Just need to be that lit up for the night.
Um, we'll just go upstairs here to the uh, clubhouse where I'll show you. Once again, I've pretty much tried to use those same sort of lights throughout. Obviously, when we get to the uh, clubhouse bit, you'll see how nice the candles work on tables, sort of giving that ambiance, as we say. I don't know why there's three of them in one guard tower there. There's Cosworth, and oh yeah, I put um, the string lights underneath the floors, and the light, like sort of, you can see how lit up that is when there's just a candle there, because it's the light underneath shining upwards. <laughs> it works quite well. And obviously, I've used some spotlights to really brighten up the uh, clubhouse table, make a point of that. The spotlights are really cool because now you can sort of highlight areas, make them obviously highlight them and show them off and there's the bar um, right yep yeah, so that's the video I hope you have liked it enjoy subscribe um, obviously I've been Warwick Firebeard and may we game in Valhalla thank you for watching